Now, some people, of course, are born colorblind, but not because of brain damage, but instead because they don't have some of the types of cones in their eye. As a reminder, most people are born with three different types of cones, color photoreceptors, but some people are born with only two types or one type or none, giving them a diminished or no ability to distinguish between colors. Now, the military excludes colorblind soldiers from certain jobs, but they have come to realize that colorblind people do have a secret superpower. They can spot enemy camouflage better than people with normal color vision. Why? Because they're better at distinguishing between shades of gray. This is because they have the same amount of visual cortex at the back of their brain, but fewer color dimensions to worry about. So they're using the same cortical territory, but for a simpler task, just grayscale instead of color. And this gives them improved performance in distinguishing very subtle differences in brightness. So although it would be a real bummer to be colorblind, there are some advantages as well. So now let's return to color. Everything we've talked about so far is a reminder that color is not just about the electromagnetic radiation hitting the eye, but about what happens in the brain. And one very good example of that is something I've talked about before, synesthesia. This is a brain phenomenon in which color blurs with different concepts. A typical synesthete will perceive letters or numbers as having fixed colors like a is always red, or the number seven is seafoam green. And it can commonly be with weekdays or months, like Wednesday is indigo blue, or August is yellow. Now, it's not a hallucination, but to the person, it's just self-evidently true that that's what that letter or number or weekday or month is. Of course, it's purple or yellow or green. So I've studied synesthesia in my lab for many years because it's such a good inroad into conscious experience and also the differences between one person's experience and another's and the differences between people's experiences on the inside when they're perceiving the world. 